In a world steeped in southern charm and simmering tensions, Scout Finch ushers us into Maycomb, Alabama. Through her youthful eyes, we navigate a landscape where childhood innocence flirts with the harsh realities of prejudice and social hierarchy. The year is 1933, and the Great Depression casts a shadow over Maycomb, a town steeped in tradition and divided along racial lines. Scout, a precocious six-year-old, introduces us to her world, a world where childhood games intertwine with whispered secrets and where neighbors are both familiar and enigmatic. Welcome to Maycomb, Alabama, a sleepy southern town where innocence collides with prejudice in the sweltering summer of 1933. Join us as we step into the world of To Kill a Mockingbird through the eyes of Scout Finch, a precocious six-year-old brimming with curiosity and mischief. Meet Scout Finch, our spunky narrator who tackles life with boundless energy and a thirst for adventure. Scout's inquisitive nature leads her down uncharted paths, challenging societal norms and uncovering the hidden truths that lie beneath Maycomb's seemingly idyllic surface. Shrouded in mystery and gossip, the Radley place looms large in Scout and Jim's imagination. Boo Radley, its reclusive inhabitant, becomes the object of countless rumors and childhood dares, fueling their fascination with the unknown. Atticus Finch, Scout and Jim's father, stands as a beacon of moral compass in a world often governed by prejudice. His quiet strength and unwavering commitment to justice serve as a guiding light for his children and inspire them to confront the complexities of the world around them. Calpurnia, the Finch family's housekeeper, brings stability and care to their lives. More than just a servant, she acts as a surrogate mother and wise counsel for Scout and Jim, navigating the complex social dynamics of Maycomb with grace and understanding. The Mockingbird, a recurring symbol in the novel, represents innocence, vulnerability, and the ability to find beauty in the midst of injustice. Its haunting song serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of defending the vulnerable. As we turn the page to chapter two, the seeds of intrigue and conflict have been sown. Scout's innocent world is poised to collide with the harsh realities of prejudice and injustice, setting the stage for a powerful journey of growth and discovery. In Chapter 2, Scout's world expands as she embarks on her first day of school, encounters unique characters, and grapples with the complexities of social hierarchies and education. Miss Caroline, representing traditional educational methods and societal expectations, clashes with Scout's independent spirit, highlighting the conflict between conformity and individuality. Scout's instinctive act of kindness towards Walter demonstrates her inherent sense of fairness and challenges the rigid social boundaries of Maycomb. The mysterious gifts found in the tree knothole deepen the children's fascination with Boo Radley, symbolizing his hidden presence and unspoken connection to their lives. As Scout navigates the complexities of school and society, the Mockingbird serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of empathy and the need to protect those who are marginalized and misunderstood. In this chapter, Scout faces the conflicting forces of conformity and curiosity. While Miss Caroline represents rigid expectations, the fleeting glimpse of Boo Radley deepens the mystery surrounding him and fuels the children's fascination with the unknown. This encounter marks a turning point as the line between reality and imagination blurs further. Atticus embodies open-mindedness and encourages his children to question and explore. Atticus 
Atticus' lessons on empathy and compassion resonate with Scout as she begins to grapple with the complexities of the world around her. These lessons serve as a foundation for her moral development and guide her actions throughout the novel. Dill's arrival brings laughter and adventure into Scout's life, creating a strong bond of friendship built on shared curiosity and a thirst for exploration. This friendship becomes a source of strength and support for Scout as she navigates the challenges of growing up. Summer in Maycomb offers a time of liberation and exploration, allowing the children to escape the confines of school and societal expectations and immerse themselves in their imaginations. The children's fascination with Boo Radley drives them to push boundaries and take risks as they test their courage and confront their fears of the unknown. Miss Maudie represents a beacon of independence and nonconformity in Maycomb. Her friendship with Scout provides a safe space for questioning, learning, and challenging traditional expectations. As the children's games and adventures unfold, they begin to witness the darker side of Maycomb's social landscape, encountering prejudice and injustice that challenge their understanding of the world. Scout faces challenges as Jim distances himself, forcing her to navigate emotions of loneliness and insecurity. Miss Maudie provides a stabilizing presence, offering both comfort and valuable lessons about life and understanding. Miss Maudie's stories paint a different picture of Boo, revealing his vulnerability and past kindness. This humanization challenges Scout's preconceived notions and sparks empathy for the isolated figure. The oppressive summer heat mirrors the growing social tensions in Maycomb. Rumors and anxieties surrounding Tom Robinson's trial fuel prejudice and hatred, creating a suffocating atmosphere. Atticus's decision to defend Tom Robinson, despite the community's disapproval, demonstrates his unwavering commitment to justice and courage in the face of adversity. He sets a powerful example for his children and becomes a symbol of hope in a divided town. Driven by their insatiable curiosity, the children take a dangerous risk, venturing closer to the forbidden territory of the Radley House. This scene bathed in moonlight and tension, captures the thrill and terror of their forbidden mission. The encounter with the shadowy figure sends the children fleeing in fear, the sudden gunshot shattering the night's silence and leaving them shaken to the core. This image portrays the chilling moment of confrontation and the stark realization of their audacious act. The lost pants symbolize the consequences of their actions forcing Jim to grapple with his fear and responsibility. However, his decision to retrieve them signifies a newfound maturity and willingness to face the consequences, marking a turning point in his journey. The community reacts with a mixture of fear and speculation, perpetrating the myth of Boo Radley and highlighting the town's quick judgment and ingrained prejudices. This visual montage emphasizes the impact of the night's events on Maycomb's social fabric. The mended pants serve as a tangible reminder of the night's encounter and Boo Radley's unanticipated action. This image sparks questions and fuels the children's growing fascination with the mysterious figure. Despite the routine of school, Scout's thoughts remain preoccupied with the mysteries of the summer. This image emphasizes the internal conflict she faces as she grapples with her fear and curiosity and budding understanding of the complexities of the world. Atticus offers a different perspective on Boo Radley, highlighting his potential for hidden kindness and challenging the children's preconceived notions. This visual portrays the importance of empathy in seeing things from another's perspective. 
The discovery of the ball of twine symbolizes a silent communication between the children and Boo Radley. This represents the establishment of a tentative connection and a glimmer of hope for understanding the recluse. The carved figures signify a profound gesture of connection from Boo Radley. This image marks a turning point, replacing fear with wonder and gratitude, and opening the door to a deeper understanding of the enigmatic figure. The unexpected snowfall transforms the town, creating a sense of joy and wonder. This image captures the beauty and transformative power of nature, offering a brief respite from the tensions of the narrative. The fire disrupts the tranquility of the night, but it also showcases the community's strength and unity in the face of adversity, also highlighting the power of collective action and the resilience of the human spirit. A tender moment shatters the children's fear of Boo Radley, revealing his capacity for kindness and compassion. It captures the power of small gestures to transcend fear and create understanding. Miss Maudie's unwavering spirit shines through in the face of loss. Her words offer a powerful lesson about the importance of finding strength in adversity and embracing the possibility of renewal. The holiday season brings little cheer as the weight of the impending trial casts a shadow over the family. This image highlights the conflict between joy and anxiety, reflecting the complexities of the life in Maycomb. Aunt Alexandra's arrival brings a clash of values and perspectives as she seeks to uphold the family's social standing and traditional Southern ideals. This represents the rigid social structure of Maycomb and the challenges Scout faces in navigating expectations. Scout's rebellious spirit shines through as she challenges societal norms and questions the authority of adults. This captures her strength of character and her refusal to conform to expectations. The overheard conversation exposes the harsh realities of racism and injustice in Maycomb, forcing Scout to confront the weight of her father's task and the potential dangers he faces. This represents the awakening of Scout's understanding of the world's complexities and the courage required to fight for what is right. The trial exposes the deep-seated racial tensions in Maycomb, dividing the community along lines of prejudice and injustice. This highlights the stark contrast in perspectives and the challenges of seeking justice in a divided society. Atticus's moral courage shines through as he withstands the pressure of public opinion and remains committed to defending Tom Robinson. This represents the power of integrity and the unwavering pursuit of justice, even in the face of overwhelming opposition. This intimate moment humanizes Atticus, revealing his vulnerability and the sacrifices he makes to uphold his principles. It emphasizes the personal toll of fighting injustice and the courage it requires to stand against the tide. Atticus's unexpected display of marksmanship challenges the community's assumptions about him and earns the admiration of his children. This represents the quiet strength and hidden depths within a man who often chooses to act with restraint and compassion. The courtroom becomes a microcosm of Maycomb's racial divide, with the trial a test of justice in the face of prejudice, highlighting the power dynamics and the challenge of seeking fairness in an unjust system. Atticus's integrity and unwavering commitment to justice shine through as he challenges the biases and prejudices of those in power. This represents the power of truth and the courage to stand for what is right, even when faced with overwhelming odds. 
The verdict exposes the deep-rooted injustice within Maycomb, shattering the children's innocence and their belief in a fair and equitable society. However, Boo Radley's silent presence offers a glimmer of hope and understanding, suggesting that compassion and kindness can even exist in the darkest of times. These simple gifts from Boo Radley serve as silent but powerful gestures of support and understanding. They represent the unexpected connections that can form in the midst of adversity and the enduring power of empathy and kindness. The trial's aftermath casts a shadow over the household as each member processes the injustice and grapples with its implications. This captures the shared grief and disillusionment that permeates their lives. Jim's transformation highlights the loss of innocence and the harsh realities of growing up in a world marred by injustice. This contrast emphasizes the impact of the trial on his worldview and his struggle to reconcile his ideals with the truth. Tom Robinson's fate serves as a stark reminder of the power of racism to corrupt justice and destroy lives. This underscores the urgency of challenging injustice and fighting for equality. The approaching autumn brings not only a change in seasons, but also a sense of foreboding, hinting at darker challenges and conflicts to come. This foreshadows the escalating tensions and the tests of courage that lie ahead. Halloween serves as a backdrop for both mischief and menace, highlighting the vulnerability of children and the lurking dangers within Maycomb's community. The attack in the woods marks a pivotal moment in the novel as the children face a tangible threat and witness Boo Radley's unexpected act of heroism. This image represents the clash between innocence and violence and the power of compassion to arise from unexpected places. Boo Radley, long feared and misunderstood, emerges as a guardian figure, dispelling the children's misconceptions and demonstrating his capacity for empathy and courage. This shatters stereotypes and highlights the importance of seeing beyond appearances. The thwarted attack underscores the consequences of hatred and prejudice. While celebrating the triumph of compassion and courage over injustice, this represents the victory of empathy and understanding over darkness and violence. The community's support reflects the strength of human connection and the capacity for healing in the face of adversity. This emphasizes the importance of solidarity and compassion in times of crisis. Sheriff Tate's decision to uphold a moral code above strict adherence to the law demonstrates his understanding of justice and his empathy for Boo Radley's circumstances. This highlights the power of individual choices to shape outcomes and protect those who are vulnerable. Scout's journey of understanding mirrors the reader's own as she grapples with the gray areas of morality and the difficult decisions that adults must sometimes make. This represents the process of maturation and the development of empathy and insight. Boo Radley's actions have a profound impact on the children and their understanding of compassion and courage. This reinforces his role as a protector and a symbol of hope, even in the face of darkness and fear. This symbolizes the bridging of two worlds, as Scout, once fearful of Boo, now walks beside him with understanding and compassion, representing the power of connection to transcend fear and prejudice. This small act of kindness echoes the many acts of compassion that have shaped Scout's journey, highlighting the significance of human connection and the ability to offer comfort and understanding to those who are different or misunderstood.
Scout's perspective has evolved throughout the novel, and this captures her growth and understanding. It represents the transformative power of experience and the ability to learn and change from encounters with others. Part 1's conclusion offers a sense of optimism, suggesting that even in a world marred by prejudice and injustice, there is potential for growth, understanding, and change. This represents the enduring hope for a better tomorrow, rooted in the lessons of empathy and acceptance. The courtroom becomes a microcosm of Maycomb's social tensions, with the trial a test of justice in the face of prejudice. Judge Taylor, a symbol of law and order, holds the power to ensure a fair trial, despite the biases and prejudices swirling around him. The trial becomes a battle between narratives with the prosecution seeking to convict Tom Robinson and the defense fighting to expose the truth and defend his innocence. Atticus's cross-examination of Ewell serves as a pivotal point in the trial, casting doubt on the prosecution's case and revealing the deep-seated prejudices that fuel the accusations against Tom Robinson. As the trial draws to a close, the courtroom becomes a battleground for the very soul of Maycomb, testing its commitment to truth and equality. The events of the trial leave a profound impact on all those who witness them, challenging their beliefs and shaping their understanding of the world. The fight for justice is far from over, but the courage of individuals like Atticus Finch offers a glimmer of hope in the face of darkness and prejudice. The focus shifts to Sheriff Tate's testimony as the courtroom awaits his account of the events surrounding the alleged crime. Sheriff Tate's words carry weight in Maycomb, but Atticus Finch's careful questioning probes for potential inconsistencies or oversights. The physical evidence and details of the crime scene became crucial elements in the trial as the jury must weigh the facts presented by both sides. Tensions rise as the trial progresses, with conflicting testimonies and mounting pressure on the jury to reach a verdict. The courtroom becomes a stage for the clash of truth and prejudice, with Tom Robinson's life hanging in the balance. The children, Scout, Jim, and Dill, continue to witness the trial's unfolding events grappling with the complexities of justice and injustice in their society. As the trial nears its conclusion, the courtroom becomes a microcosm of the broader struggle for justice and equality in a society grappling with deeply ingrained prejudices. The events of Chapter 17 underscore the importance of unwavering courage, unwavering commitment to the truth, and unwavering faith in the human capacity for compassion and understanding, even in the face of injustice. The outcome of the trial remains uncertain, but the fight for justice and the quest for truth continue, fueled by the resilience of individuals like Tom Robinson and the unwavering belief in a more equitable future. Mayella Ewell's words paint a vivid picture on the alleged assault but her demeanor and inconsistencies raise questions about the truthfulness of her account. Atticus Finch's skillful cross-examination probes for the truth, exposing the cracks in Mayela's testimony and challenging the prosecution's narrative. Bob Ewell's violent outburst further disrupts the trial and casts doubt on the Ewell family's credibility, suggesting a desperate attempt to conceal the truth.
The tension in the courtroom escalates as conflicting testimonies and emotional outbursts clash with the pursuit of truth and justice. The children's experiences during the trial underscore the innocence and vulnerability of youth in the face of complex societal issues. Atticus Finch's unwavering commitment to justice, despite the challenges and prejudices he faces, serves as a beacon of hope in a society grappling with inequality. As the trial reaches its climax, the courtroom becomes a battleground for truth, justice, and the very soul of the community. The powerful emotions, conflicting testimonies, and courageous acts of individuals like Atticus Finch challenge the audience to confront the deeply ingrained prejudices that threaten to undermine the foundations of justice. The outcome of the trial remains uncertain, but the events of Chapter 18 leave a profound impact on the characters and the reader. Raising essential questions about the nature of truth, the power of prejudice, and the unwavering pursuit of justice in the face of adversity. Tom Robinson, a man unjustly accused, stands before the courtroom to tell his side of the story, offering a counter-narrative to the prosecution's claims. The events leading up to the alleged assault are shown from Tom's perspective, revealing a different side to the story and challenging the assumptions of guilt and innocence. The courtroom becomes a space where truth and prejudice collide, with the jury tasked with deciding the fate of a man based on conflicting accounts and deep-seated societal biases. The tension in the courtroom escalates as Tom Robinson's testimony directly confronts the prosecution's case and the underlying prejudices that fuel it. The bravery of Tom Robinson and Link Diaz in standing up for truth and justice, despite the risks involved, highlights the importance of individual acts of courage in challenging systemic injustice. Atticus Finch's closing arguments serve as a powerful reminder of the fundamental principles of justice and the need to uphold them, even in the face of societal biases and ingrained discrimination. As chapter 19 draws to a close, the courtroom stands as a battleground for truth, justice, and the very soul of the community. The tension is palpable and the stakes are high. The courage of individuals like Tom Robinson, Link Diaz, and Atticus Finch offers a glimmer of hope, but the outcome of the trial remains uncertain, and the fight for justice is far from over. The events of this chapter challenge the audience to confront their own biases, examine the systems that perpetuate injustice, and consider the role each individual can play in creating a more equitable and just society. The courtroom falls silent as the verdict is announced, shattering hopes for justice and exposing the deep-seated prejudices that have influenced the outcome of the trial. The injustice of the verdict is palpable as two men who sought truth and fairness are confronted with the harsh realities of a system that often fails to uphold its ideals. The tragic consequences of the trial's outcome cast a dark shadow over Maycomb as the town grapples with the loss of life and the enduring impact of prejudice and injustice. The events of Chapter 20 highlight the devastating impact of injustice on individuals, families, and communities. The characters grapple with feelings of anger, despair, and disillusionment, and they confront the harsh realities of a world where prejudice and inequality often triumph over truth and fairness. Yet, amidst the darkness, there are glimmers of hope and resilience. In the compassion of Calpurnia, the wisdom of Miss Maudie, and the enduring love between Atticus and his children, 
These moments of connection and shared humanity offer the possibility of healing and the strength to continue fighting for a more just world. As chapter 20 closes, Maycom is left reeling from the weight of injustice and loss. Yet amidst the shadows, embers of hope and resilience continue to flicker. The characters' unwavering commitment to justice, their profound love for one another, and their determination to confront the darkness offer a testament to the strength of the human spirit. The story reminds us that even in the face of profound injustice, the pursuit of truth, the fight for equality, and the bonds of love and compassion can provide a path forward, offering the possibility of healing, growth, and a more just future for all. The verdict has not only determined Tom Robinson's fate, but also exposed the deep-seated divisions within the community, challenging individuals to examine their own beliefs and the moral fabric of their society. Jim's youthful idealism is shaken as he confronts the harsh realities of injustice and prejudice, marking a turning point in his journey towards maturity and a deeper understanding of the complexities of the world. The seeds of revenge are sown, and Bob Ewell's resentment and hatred threaten to erupt, raising the stakes and intensifying the atmosphere of danger and uncertainty in Maycom. Chapter 21 explores the ripple effects of the trial, as characters grapple with its aftermath and confront the challenges of navigating a world marred by injustice and prejudice. The children's loss of innocence, the escalating tensions with Bob Ewell, and the complexities of social dynamics within Maycomb highlight the ongoing struggle between compassion and cruelty, understanding and prejudice, and the fight for justice in the face of adversity. The presence of Boo Radley and his silent acts of kindness offer a glimmer of hope and a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there exists the potential for connection, understanding, and compassion. The children's world is irrevocably changed as they confront the harsh realities of prejudice and the limitations of the justice system. Hatred and revenge fester in Bob Ewell, creating a dangerous atmosphere of fear and uncertainty for the Finch family. Despite the injustice, hope persists as acts of compassion and support emerge from within the community, offering a glimmer of light in the darkness. Miss Maudie's wisdom and compassion offer guidance and reassurance, highlighting the importance of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The characters stand at a crossroads, leaving behind the carefree days of childhood and confronting the challenges and complexities of the adult world. Boo Radley, shrouded in mystery, reveals a hidden well of compassion and kindness, challenging assumptions and questioning the boundaries between isolation and connection. The chapter concludes with a note of hope and introspection, as Scout embarks on a journey of self-discovery and a deeper understanding of the world around her. The children grapple with the disillusionment and anger that stem from the unjust verdict, their childhood faith in fairness facing a harsh reality check. Atticus stands firm in the face of Bob Ewell's threats, his unyielding integrity serving as a beacon of hope and moral grounding in the midst of escalating tension. The past catches up with Bob Ewell, as glimpses of his violent history add an element of suspense and foreshadowing to the brewing conflict. The characters stand at a crossroad, leaving behind the familiar comfort of childhood and stepping into the uncertainties of adolescence. The tension boils over as Bob Ewell unleashes his hatred, throwing Maycomb into turmoil and pushing the boundaries of civility. Internal conflict arises within the Finch household as Aunt Alexandra attempts to impose her societal views, 
sparking disagreements and highlighting the importance of individuality. The possibility of an appeal remains a glimmer of hope amidst the despair, but Tom's imprisonment underscores the systemic inequality that permeates Maycomb's justice system. Atticus reaffirms the importance of moral responsibility and courage in the face of adversity, offering guidance and solace to his children and setting the stage for future challenges. The chapter closes with a sense of unease and anticipation, as Scout's reflections remind us that shadow and secrets persist beneath the surface, hinting at the potential for transformative events and the ongoing struggle between good and evil in the heart of Maycomb. Terror strikes on Halloween night as the innocence of childhood games collides with the harsh realities of prejudice and hatred, setting in motion a chain of events that will test the character's resilience and courage. Jim's faith in justice is shaken to its core as he witnesses the failings of the legal system and the pervasiveness of inequality forcing him to confront the complexities of morality and the challenges of upholding truth in a flawed society. The battle between conformity and individuality plays out within the Finch household as Aunt Alexandra's efforts to shape Scout into a model of Southern womanhood clash with Scout's. The community's unease and distrust intensify as speculation about the Halloween attack fuels fear and prejudice, further exposing the deep-rooted divisions that threaten the fabric of Maycomb society. The limitations of the law are laid bare as Sheriff Tate grapples with the implications of Bob Ewell's involvement in the attack, highlighting the pervasiveness of systemic inequality and the challenges of seeking justice in a society that privileges certain individuals over others. The chapter closes with a palpable sense of unease as the characters face an uncertain future and brace themselves for the impending clash between good and evil, leaving the audience to ponder the resilience of hope and the enduring power of courage in the face of darkness. The innocence of childhood is shattered as Scout and Jim navigate a treacherous path through the heart of darkness, unaware of the danger that lurks within the shadows. Evil takes center stage as Bob Ewell's simmering resentment boils over, unleashing a torrent of violence that threatens to engulf the community and destroy the lives of those who stand for justice. Innocence is under siege as the children confront the brutal reality of evil, their world forever changed by the shattering of childhood illusions and the harsh awakening to the dark side of human nature. A beacon of hope emerges from the shadows as a guardian angel appears to protect the vulnerable, challenging assumptions and redefining the boundaries of courage and compassion. The aftermath of violence leaves its mark as the children grapple with the emotional and psychological scars of their ordeal, seeking comfort and understanding in the face of overwhelming fear and uncertainty. The boundaries between hero and outcast are blurred as the true identity of the rescuer challenges preconceived notions about bravery and compassion, revealing the hidden depths of humanity within those who are often misjudged and marginalized. The weight of trauma and the profound impact of sacrifice are felt as the characters mourn the loss of innocence and confront the harsh realities of a world where injustice and violence can shatter lives and challenge the foundations of trust and community. The unexpected hero emerges from the darkness, his quiet heroism shattering preconceived notions and revealing the profound depths of compassion that can reside within even the most misunderstood individuals. Morality and law intersect as Atticus and Sheriff Tate confront the aftermath of tragedy, seeking to protect the innocent and uphold the integrity of justice while acknowledging the societal flaws that often obscure the truth. Prejudice and preconceptions are challenged as the community grapples with the revelation of Boo Radley's actions, prompting a reevaluation of long held biases.
Innocence is transformed as Scout and Jim confront the complexities of human nature, learning to see beyond appearances and recognizing the capacity for courage and kindness that can reside within even the most unexpected individuals. The enduring message of compassion and understanding resonates as the Mockingbird serves as a reminder of the importance of protecting the vulnerable and embracing empathy in a world that can often be harsh and unforgiving. The chapter concludes with a sense of bittersweet acceptance as the characters acknowledge the complexities of human nature and the enduring strength of compassion in the face of adversity. The reclusive neighbor, once feared and misunderstood, emerges as a beacon of hope and a testament to the transformative power of empathy and understanding. Empathy bridges the divide as Scout and Boo Radley find solace in their shared understanding, transcending societal barriers and demonstrating the transformative power of acceptance and compassion. Jim emerges from trauma with a deeper understanding of the complexities of human nature and the challenges of confronting injustice, demonstrating a newfound maturity and a strengthened commitment to fighting for what is right. The moral compass of Maycomb remains steadfast as Atticus grapples with the challenges of upholding justice in an imperfect world, reaffirming his belief in the power of integrity and the importance of fighting for those who are marginalized and oppressed. The seeds of transformation are sown as the community begins to process the recent events and question long-held assumptions, opening the door to the possibility of growth and a more inclusive understanding of the world around them. The Mockingbird's song echoes as a reminder of the importance of protecting the innocent, challenging prejudice, and embracing empathy offering a beacon of hope amidst the trials and tribulations of life in a society grappling with its imperfections. The chapter concludes with a sense of cautious optimism, acknowledging the challenges that remain, but also recognizing the potential for growth and change within individuals and communities alike. The seeds of understanding have been planted, and the potential for a more just and compassionate world lingers in the hearts of those who have dared to confront their own prejudices and embrace the lessons of empathy and acceptance. The burden of conformity weighs heavily as Scout's world becomes obscured and her movements restricted, prompting the audience to question the limitations imposed upon individuals and the importance of embracing authenticity and challenging societal norms. Courage takes center stage as Jem challenges his insecurities and finds strength and vulnerability, inspiring the audience to embrace their own challenges and discover resilience in the face of adversity. Bonds of friendship provide solace and support as the children find strength and unity, reminding the audience of the importance of connection and shared understanding in navigating the trials and tribulations of life. Innocence is threatened as darkness descends upon the stage, but amidst the chaos, an unexpected hero emerges, challenging the audience to confront the realities of prejudice and violence and to seek justice and protection for the vulnerable. Heroes emerge from the darkness, challenging preconceived notions and redefining the boundaries of bravery, as the audience is invited to question their own assumptions and embrace the transformative power of empathy and understanding. The chapter concludes with a sense of uncertainty and anticipation as the characters grapple with the events of the night and the revelation of the hidden hero, leaving the audience to ponder the enduring power of empathy to transform lives and challenge injustice, and to question the true nature of courage and compassion within a society grappling with its own shadows. The pursuit of justice takes on a new dimension as the characters confront the complexities of human nature and grapple with the implications of their choices, challenging societal norms, and prioritizing compassion over strict adherence to the law. Innocence confronts injustice as Scout bravely shares her experiences, her resilience and determination serving as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, inspiring those around her 
to embrace truth and seek justice for the vulnerable. The unexpected hero emerges from the darkness, shattering stereotypes and redefining boundaries of courage as the audience is invited to question their own assumptions and acknowledge the potential for extraordinary acts of kindness to reside within even the most seemingly ordinary individuals. Morality transcends legality as Atticus and Sheriff Tate demonstrate the profound power of empathy to shape the course of justice choosing to shield the vulnerable and uphold a sense of humanity that extends beyond the confines of the courtroom, challenging societal norms and redefining the meaning of justice itself. The Mockingbird's song resonates as a reminder of the importance of compassion and understanding, urging the audience to embrace empathy and challenge societal norms, to seek justice for the vulnerable, and to celebrate the hidden strength and resilience of those who are often underestimated and overlooked. The chapter concludes with a bittersweet sense of acceptance and a profound reverence for the enduring strength of compassion as the characters acknowledge the complexities of human nature and the transformative power of empathy. The moral compass of Maycomb wrestles with the complexities of justice and compassion as Atticus grapples with the delicate balance between truth and protection, seeking to uphold the integrity of the law while acknowledging the humanity of those marginalized by society. Beneath the surface of everyday life, the complexities of human nature unfold as the town's inhabitants confront their biases, question their assumptions, and grapple with the enduring power of empathy to shape their understanding of justice and compassion. In the quiet aftermath of turmoil, a family unites in understanding, seeking solace in shared experiences and navigating the complexities of truth and compassion as they confront the implications of the night's revelations and grapple with the enduring impact of empathy in the face of adversity. The moral compass of Maycomb wrestles with the intricacies of ethical dilemmas as Atticus demonstrates the strength of character required to challenge societal norms and prioritize empathy, acknowledging the complexities of human race and the limitations of a justice system that often overlooks the nuances of individual circumstances. Innocence guides empathy as Scout offers a gesture of acceptance and understanding to the reclusive Boo Radley, challenging preconceived notions and demonstrating the transformative power of compassion to transcend societal barriers and create meaningful connections in unexpected places. The Mockingbird's melody echoes as a poignant reminder of the lessons learned, urging us to embrace compassion, challenge assumptions, and stand up for those who are often silenced or overlooked fostering a society rooted in understanding and acceptance. As the darkness recedes and a new day dawns, the characters stand in the light of understanding, carrying the profound impact of empathy forward, challenging injustice and embracing the complexities of human nature, offering hope for a future where compassion and acceptance can prevail. In the quiet aftermath of chaos, compassion finds its way into the shadows as innocence extends a hand to the misunderstood and a community grapples with the complexities of justice and acceptance. The moral compasses of Maycomb align as three individuals bound by integrity and compassion, navigating the delicate balance between truth and protection, challenging societal norms to uphold a sense of justice that transcends legal boundaries. Within the confines of a healing heart, perspectives evolve as innocence confronts the complexities of human nature, fostering empathy and challenging preconceived notions, shaping a path towards understanding and acceptance. <laughs>